Hey y'all, Woody and I had a fabulous time yesterday. We saw so much. I think we were gone like 11 hours. We are both exhausted today and not doing much, that's for sure. <laughs> I did a lot of walking and a lot of climbing and a lot of getting my feet in the water, as you will see uh, with the videos, but it is a lot of content. So I'm going to split the videos into two parts. So the video you're about to watch is part two. If you haven't seen part one, make sure you go look for that. It's really amazing. I can't believe that I am as lucky as I am to be able to live this life and to be out here. I'm just so thankful. So thankful every day. <sighs> you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you on the other side. Peace. so excited to be out. <laughs> they are so excited to be running around. This is at the end of that very narrow road and it's supposed to be a horse camp, but I don't see any corrals and I wouldn't pull a horse trailer down that road. But you can hear water. There's Woody right there. Oh, man. You doggies having fun? Oh, yeah, you're so glad to be out of the van. Wow, that is really beautiful, folks. Look how clear it is. Pretty little meadow right across. Very tranquil and peaceful here. There's wild mushrooms? Hmm. I wonder if they're the fun mushrooms. Hey y'all, Woody and I just left the horse corral pack station and we met the cowboy that runs the the camp there he's an older gentleman he looks like a rough and tumble cowboy doesn't he Woody? Yeah, he did. and he looks like he knows what he's doing so there's horses back there and the tack and everything if you want to take a tour of sequoia national forest on horseback you can and it's forty dollars an hour or if you're a couple it's seventy five dollars an hour and I, I guess they just take you riding through the woods, Woody? Or, uh, through the mountain. I would love that. I think it would be fabulous. Now, you can't get back here with an RV. Definitely not doable. But if, you're, if you have a tow vehicle or if you're a tent camper, you could easily get back here. It's just about maybe five or six miles past the Big Meadows campground, and it's called the Horse Corral Pack Station. Pack Station. So check it out if you're out here in Sequoia National Forest. And we're right between Kings Canyon National Park and Sequoia National Park. Okay, see y'all soon. Now, this is that narrow road that I've been telling y'all about. This is why I will not bring Howie back here. We just met somebody on this road, and Sadie's a lot skinnier than Howie. And it was a hard time passing that truck that Pat, that we met here on this road. This is the beautiful Sierra Nevadas. We'll see a lot more of them today. I just wanted y'all to see this beautiful spot. <sighs> a scene from a movie. It does look like a scene from a movie. This is another view of the majestic High Sierras. I can just see like a western being filmed right here. Mm -hmm. Here's another video shot of the beautiful Sierra Nevadas. It's gorgeous up here. For days, as my brother and I have been going up and down the General's Highway, I have seen this shiny thing at the top of this rock, and I never could figure out what it was. 
there it is. It is the fire lookout tower. Now, Woody's been telling me that's what it is, and I told him he couldn't be possibly right. So then today I had to eat crow and admit that he was right. <laughs> it's closed, so we can't get all the way up there. But there it is, folks. The fire lookout station. So we are driving down the mountain through Kings Canyon, the actual canyon that the park was named after. And it is stunningly beautiful. Right, brother man? Yes, ma'am. Quite the curvy road. And the terrain has changed so much from the big, big tall trees to these little squatty trees and shrubs. I am really zoomed in, so it's a little shaky. But look at that waterfall. Ah. We pulled off the side of the highway because this. With every curve, there's more delight. The river and Laney. Look at that. And then look up. Look at this, folks. Can you believe? There's so much water. Where does it all come from? Oh, stunningly beautiful. Wow. Woody and I have been talking about the fact that we're gawking and squawking. We're gawking at all the beautiful scenery and squawking about it. Right, Woodrow? Squawk? Squawk? Uh, sure. <laughs> Ten more. <laughs> I am walking up to the Grizzly Falls right now. And it's a steep, rocky path. So pardon my heavy breathing. But... Let's see what we can find up here. Ah, oh, glorious. Look at that. This is Grizzly Falls, y'all. <laughs> it is really beautiful. I'm gonna go try to get in the water. Hope I'm successful. <laughs> I can really feel the mist coming off the waterfall. Feels fabulous. Let's see how close I can get. I'm up really close now. Look at that. Wow. This is an incredible experience, y'all. Okay, I'm pretty close and my feet are in the water. I'm still gonna try to get a little closer. Well, not to the waterfall, but a little bit more into the water. Stay tuned. Look at this. Isn't this amazing? <laughs> wow. There's my feet. <laughs> it feels so good and refreshing. If you can hear me, but I am at the bottom of the waterfall. The sound is almost deafening. The water is cold and extremely refreshing. Wish y'all were here. <laughs> this water is so clear and so cool. I don't know if you can hear me. Guys, it's truly amazing. 
amazing. This is Grizzly Falls Picnic Area and Campground right off of Kings Canyon Highway. I'm so thankful that I'm having a good day today, MS-wise, that I could make this walk. I get my feet in this water. I'm thankful for the energy that Gaia is giving me, that the creator of the universe is giving me to be able to do these things. It is just incredible. Words cannot express. <sighs> Man, what a day this has been. And it's not over yet. I may have to make this into two or possibly three videos. <laughs> What an amazing, amazing adventure so far today. So I walk down this trail and I'm thinking that this is the elusive Muir Rock. Not sure. No signage. But some kids said this is where it is. And you know kids are pretty smart nowadays, so... I'm wondering if this is it. It's kind of a bowl-shaped. Might be a little bit difficult for Woody to get up on this rock. But I'm going to try it. Uh. And this is the South Fork of the Kings River. There's a guy in the water over here. There's a rocky beach right there. Okay, I'm going to see if my brother can make it there. Okay, this is the path down to the rocky beach. Let's see. It's a little treacherous. Is that bamboo? Good grief. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay. I don't know. He might be able to do it with his cane. I'll let him look at the video and be the judge. Coming up on this little family. The water is so clear. Look at this. Oh, it's real sandy. Oh my God, it's cold. Oh. Very cold. But quite lovely. And here's Muir Rock. I hope you enjoyed the video, part two. We had an incredible time, as you probably saw. And, you know, I know there's a lot of you out there that want to live this life and feel like you can't, maybe because of your disability. But Woody and I are both disabled. We both have struggles every day that we deal with. But we're out here and we're doing it despite those disabilities and struggles. And the way I look at it is this. I could either sit in an apartment somewhere that I could barely afford or I'd have to be on housing, a, a housing voucher from the government because I don't get enough on my disability to be able to live in an apartment anywhere, not anywhere in the United States. And I could be living in that 
place. It probably wouldn't be very nice. And watching TV all day or whatever and be losing my mind. Or I could be out here living in an RV, much cheaper. And granted, it's not a gorgeous new RV. I sometimes joke and call it the ghetto mobile. But it's a roof over my head and it gets me down the road. It gets me where I want to go from point A to point B. And I'm very thankful for that. You know, I don't need fancy, but I need to be free. And so if you're disabled and you're thinking you can't do this, I'm telling you that you can. You just have to figure it out. Do your research, find out what you need to be able to live this life if that's what you want to do and just do it. It's amazing. My biggest expense every month is gasoline. And that's because I'm in an RV that gets eight miles to the gallon. That's my biggest expense. Figure out what you need to be able to do this. Woody does it in a minivan and he loves it and he's doing great. And he's been doing it for three years. I'm on two and a half years. When I first started, I was in a car and a tent because I was determined not to go into assisted living. I was determined not to live in a crappy little apartment in some city somewhere and lose my mind slowly. And so whatever it is that's stopping you, figure out how to overcome that obstacle. If this is what you truly want to do, you can do it. If you have any questions about living this lifestyle, feel free to email me. My email is right there on the screen in the beginning and I would be happy to answer any of your questions. Okay? Take it easy guys and I will see you in the next video. Peace.